Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the correct settings to use the Gigabyte M27Q monitor, um, which is a 1440p, 144Hz monitor, in conjunction with the Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II uh, capture card. All right, so let's get into it. Um, what I've, this is like first couple of hours experience for me, um, plugging it in straight away and just making it work as it were, um, it was, the performance was subpar. Um, I was seeing some sort of like streeting artifacts for the mouse at 144 Hertz at 120. It was fine, but 144, it was, um, there's that, uh, a couple of extra things that you need to do. So. Let me show you how I got mine to work properly. What you can see here is the display um, information. And it's connected to the graphics card. You see the resolution. The refresh rate is 143.856. When it was not working well, it was all, the refresh rate that was being reported by Windows was about 144 point something. Whereas now it's 143 uh, bit, 8-bit and RGB curl format with the standard dynamic range. Now, what I did to make it work as intended here. So if you go into your 4K capture utility, you have to launch that and then go into your settings. Um, the information provided by Elgato is a little bit vague, but effectively what I've done is I've set my HDMI color range to bypass so that it's the same as um, the input. The EDID was set to display and EDID internal is 1440p HDR. This is how I got it to work. So um, when you go into custom, you have to go into the program files that got a 4K capture utility. And here you'll find your bin files for the EDIDs. The one that I used for to get it to work was the 1440p custom EDID HDR. It wasn't selected and it wasn't available in the in this uh, drop down initially so you had to add it um, using the custom button there and just how I showed you the other thing that you have to keep in mind is that uh, initially the I think the input EDID was set to merged and I'm not entirely sure about the HDMI color range but the way that I got it to finally work properly and to minimize like to not have any sort of artifacts and to display properly was to change this to change the EDID to internal and set this to something else, say 1440p, hit apply, wait for the monitor to flicker black and then come back. You'll see, I mean, if if you're having the, you know, if you've clicked on the video, you're having this problem, so you're trying to get rid of it. And then you go back to display 1440p HDR and hit apply. And what you also see is that in the uh, Windows display settings, this will change from the... Um, 4K 60, 1440p, something like that, that will be the name of the display. It'll change to your M27Q. So that's how you know that you, you've uh, accomplished it and it's it's going to work as intended. Um, but so far, I haven't launched any games, but it seems like the um, 4K 60 Pro is, bypass is passing through uh, via HDMI uh, correctly at the correct resolution. I'm not seeing any any issues. Uh, which is good. It's great. So, I hope you found this video helpful. And, uh, take care.